What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to discuss the sweep tool for our wall as well as the reveals. Okay, so let's place first a cutout on our wall using the reveals tool. Okay, so how to do that? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to this side of my view. This is the south elevation. How do I know? Because if you look at the view cube here, the direction there to that side is south. Right? So I'm going to go to the project browser and going to open the south elevation. So just double click that and then here's now the, the wall. Now to place a cutout or reveals to my wall here, all you have to do is to go to the architecture, click the wall drop down here and then you can see there the reveal. So it extrudes a profile along a path to create a cutout in a wall. So you just click that one and then look here, you have couple of placements. So you have horizontal, you also have vertical. So you can also restart your reveal. So what I'm going to do is using horizontal, I'm going to place one here along this grid here. So I'm going to click. All right, so that's my one reveal. And then I go to modify and then select again the reveal tool wall reveal and then i'll use here the vertical uh, a vertical option and then i'm gonna click on this grid here that's the one and then let's go to the modify tool again to terminate so if we're going to the 3d view so you will now be able to see the cat out here so i can type or i can just change the visual style here to shade it so we can see that nicely so there you go okay so take note that you can still modify your your reveal so you can click let's say the vertical reveal and then you can resize that length like that for example same with the horizontal you can click that and then you can resize it and then you can also flip that one see that so you can flip that um, reveal as well okay so you also have other options to choose from when creating your reveal so if i click the reveal here i select the reveal again so before i place it to my wall so let's check out the properties you can see there's reveal so check out the type properties and then what i'm uh, talking about is this profile here so the default profile is the one that is set so you can click the drop down arrow so depending on the profile that is loaded you will be able to see it here so let's say let's try the three bricks so i click that so all right so what you do before you change the property in order for you not to override this type of reveal so much better you duplicate it so let's say for example this is reveal uh three bricks three bricks and then okay and then that's the time i can now change the profile so that the other type will not be overridden okay so i'm gonna select three bricks and then i select here okay so this is the type that i would like so i can place one here and then select modify and this is just how it looks like okay so not much difference see that one so maybe i can turn on the thin lines here so i can see that <clears throat> okay now if you are wondering how to create the profile for your reveal because based on the definition here it says extrudes a profile along a path to create a cutout in a wall okay so it's a profile so if you want to create your own profile your own cutout uh, profile for your reveal so that you'll be able to load it and then use it for you to create your own uh, cutout or reveal to your wall so what you can do is you can go to the file you can create your own one your own family and then after that move down and then look for the template profile reveal that's the one okay you just need to select that one 
select here open and then after that you can now create your uh, profile for your uh, reveal so as you can see this is the wall face side and then this side is your uh, wall okay just use uh, 2d lines here and then once you create your own profile so the next thing that you do is just like what we did so select reveal and then edit type and then create your own reveal and then you put the name for example you can select any name you can type and then select that one and then after that you load it here so if the profile that you have created is not here on the list because it's not yet loaded so what you do is just load it okay so just go to the insert and then load family so once you select load family just locate that particular profile and then select open so once you select open you can go to architecture again reveal and then edit type create a new type and then make sure you load it here by selecting okay so that's how you use your reveal now the other one is sweep okay so the other one is sweep so from the architecture wall so there's the sweep so this is unlike your reveal which create a cutout this one will create a wall sweep by extruding a profile along a path again you can create your own profile for the sweep and then you can uh, use it for your uh, wall sweep so let's say i select wall sweep so the default here is cornice so if we go again to edit type here let's check out the profile so there's a default profile so you also have other shape for your uh, wall sweep here okay but what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna cancel this and then let's see the difference so let's click this so that's your sweep and then select modify and there you go so it creates an extrusion there right okay so this is your reveal and then this is your uh sweep so you can use this for your cornice okay so again just like your reveal you can create another type of sweep so edit type duplicate it okay so for example this is your uh custom custom wall sweep and then you can change the profile here instead of default so let's say uh parape how about uh soldier course to bricks so i select here okay and then let's try out this one and then select modify so this is how it looks like okay or another way is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna modify a wall here so let's say this wall okay so i'm going to select this wall and then after that i'm going to edit that so let's edit and then after that let's go to the edit structure click that and then we are going to select the preview because as you can see there is our sweeps and then there is our reveals as well so for us to be able to select these two tools make sure your preview is on section view and then if it is on section view you will now be able to select the sweeps or reveals right so because if this one is on a floor plan view so you will not be able to use it so that's why you can change the view here you can change the section view and then you will not be able to see here now i'm going to select here the sweep so for your exercise you can try reveals okay so i'm going to show you how to use the sweeps here so let's click the sweeps and then let's uh, load a profile so i'm going to select load profile and then i'm going to use here metal parapet cap okay and then after that i'm gonna select your okay again you can create your own profile this is just a 2d drawing okay so just select here open okay and then now that it's load uh, loaded just select add and then default 
profile. So look for the metal parapet cap. You can change the material. So let's say, for example, I'm going to change that to uh, metal aluminum. So select. Okay. And then I want that to be placed at the top. Okay. So look what will happen here in our preview. So I will select here top. And then after that, I'm going to select OK. So you can now see here the preview, right? So you have now your profile there that will sweep uh, along the, your wall. So I'm going to select here OK. And then let's select here OK. And then see what will happen. There you go. You see? There is the sweep. So there is the profile. Okay. All right. Okay. There you go. So that's how you load your uh, sweep profile. So again, if you want to create your own sweep profile, just go to the file and then create new family. And then, wait, where is that? Create new family. And then look for the profile. This one. So you can use the metric profile open that and then you can now create your 2d shape here and then after that save it and then you can now load it here on your project so to load just go to insert load family oops load family all right okay so basically that's how you use your uh, wall reveal and wall sweep okay so hopefully you learn something from this video if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.